Germany calling. Germany calling. The British Ministry of Misinformation has been conducting a systematic campaign of frightening British women and girls. I was born in Heworth in a house called Hazelhurst, 27 of December 1930, and uh, we moved to Deal when I was about five. The first thing that happened was uh, war broke out. As children, it was quite normal. We just had breakfast and uh, go, go down to the square where we'd gather to get on the bus for school. We didn't stay in and cower and anything like that. We played out and we, we went to the beach when we could get to parts of the beach and we went out in the country. We just lived normal until that siren went and then it was a different matter. Throughout the Blitz, the Reich Ministry of Enlightenment and Propaganda broadcasted through the medium wave of the UK radio, detailing every Blitz raid and the fallout that followed. At the front of the broadcasts was pro-Nazi British aristocrat William Joyce. Lord Hawthorne we called him. After Germany successfully seized France in 1940, the southern coast of England became the next assault target. In the case of a failed bombing run on London, German bombers dropped any remaining shells on Deal to speed up their escape across the channel. Then on May the 8th, it was a Friday, 1942, we were in school and we had a, an air raid system that didn't just wail. I ran out of the library, which was across the road from school. I ran under the arch, which was the entrance. The plane was overhead. I saw the plane. I knew I wasn't going to make it to the shelter, which was just a little bit further on, our air raid shelter. So I dashed into the toilet, went into the end one, and then there was the, the bomb. And all that lime and dust and everything, that was the thing I remember most. I was choking. So you can see everything there, every bomb and every shell and landmine that were dropped. It's all there on record and that's the one that got to school. Although the blast did not harm Paula, others caught in the blast were not as lucky. Two young convent boys, whom Paula knew well, were caught under the arch Paula ran through seconds before them were crushed and killed. So wind the clock forward a few seconds. To a timeline Paula is caught amongst the blast. Alongside her classmates. 